So in addition to these three new palette types, one of the major features in 1.9 is a fairly significant rework to the update feature. Um, one of the changes is that you can now define your default update style in setup, and every time you use update then it will go back to your default rather than returning to the last type of update you did. We've also added two new update features. One is update last manual reference, which will update in a different style than update all. And the other is update references only, which would update to any modified palettes or presets, but not update to your queue yet. Um, so we'll just take a quick look at the new update features. Let's take a look at update. We're sitting in a queue, and I'm going to select channel 101 and make a modification to its pan and tilt data. This will apply to any palette, but we're going to use pan and tilt for our, uh, for our examples. So if we select update. We're going to leave it with update all. I just want to point out where you see that over here in the, in the CIA, update styles and all, and we hit enter. And what we've just, just done is we've updated both the queue and the palette. So when we recall palette drums, it'll be in that new position. So we're going to continue on. We're going to select 102. I'm going to make a modification to it as well. And we select update. Our next one is make absolute. So we select make absolute and hit enter. You'll notice over here on the channel to screen on the channel display, focus under pan and tilt has absolute data for it. So we are no longer connected to the palette. Continuing on, we're going to select channel 103, and we'll make a man make a modification to its pan and tilt. We're going to do update, and in this case, we're going to select reference only. So in this case, when we hit enter, what we've done is we've updated only the palette. So drums, the drums palette has now been updated, but the queue has not, and we can tell that because pan and tilt are in red. And in order to complete that, we simply do an update enter. And now we've um, updated the queue as if we'd done an update all. And let's select channel 104. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it into a new palette, a folks palette 2, and then we're going to make a modification. Uh, so in this, uh, so we're making some changes within this queue. And so when we go to update our queue, we now have a new option, which is under the update modifier, and it's referred to as last reference. So when I select last reference and then hit enter, You'll notice on the channel screen that we're updating the psych palette, which is the last palette that we manually recalled. If we had not selected update last reference, we would have updated the drums palette, which is the palette that's coming from the queue itself. We're going to go into the next queue, which is built with presets, and we're going to select channel 106, and we'll make a modification to that and use update. And now you notice we have a new option under the modifiers called break nested. So when I select break nested and hit enter, the display on the channel screen looks the same, but when I hold down the data key, you notice that our channels are modified in such a way that we're now using absolute data. So we've broken the connection to the palette from the preset. Selecting channel 105, we're going to make a couple of different, we're going to make a modification not only to focus, but also to color. And when we do our update, we now have an option to update all the palettes, or we can select which one we want to update. So if I don't want to do color palette, I select it, and we do minus color palette, so we'd only be doing focus. But if that's a mistake, I can come in and select reset, which puts color back. In this case, I don't want to update my focus. We're actually going to update the color and hit enter. And you'll see over on the channel display, our color palette has been updated into the preset, but our focus palette has not. And that's taking a look at update. Let's take a look at some setup options for update. Come in into the displays button and setup show settings, we come over to desk, we're under record defaults, and under record defaults we have update mode, and what this will do is it'll set the default place that, the default button that is activated when we hit update. So in this case we're going to leave it with update all, 
and then we're going to change update last reference to enabled. So we come back into live and we select channel 106 and we're going to put it into a new palette and make a modification. When I hit update, I now have update all and last reference are both active by default. And when I hit enter, we've now made that update happen. And those are our setup options. Let's take a look at a new way to update manual references. So we're now sitting not in a queue, but with three channels in that have uh, different palettes that have been applied to them. So we're going to select all three channels, 101 through 103, and I'm going to make a modification to their focus. And now when I hit update, because the last reference is enabled, I have the ability to, in one keystroke, by going update and enter to update all three of those palettes. And this is a, a new feature. Taking it one step farther, if I select those three channels again and make a modification to not only their color, their position, but also their color, when I hit update, I now have the ability to update only focus, only color, or using the CIA, I can deselect certain ones that I don't want to update. So in this case, Focus Palette 2 and Color Palette 3 would not be updated. And then when I hit Enter, you can see the changes on the channel screen. And the ones that I deselected still have the R reference. The others have updated their palettes. And that's looking at updating manual references. We'd really recommend when you get 1.9 that you spend some time playing with update so that you fully understand the ramifications of all of these different styles. Update can be a scary feature for you, but if you understand the rule set behind it, it can really speed up your programming process. A few of the other changes that we've made in 1.9 that we will allude to, but you need to check the 1.9 supplement or the release note for more information, we've added tabs into ION so that the navigation of screens is similar to EOS. So what was the swap button on ION now becomes the tab button. We've added the ability to use Mac native as a client without the need to use a PC emulation program. Um, concurrent with that, it's no longer necessary to use the scroll lock key on your external keyboards when using the offline or client to map to the hotkeys. We assume that you're going to be using hotkeys and so you don't have to deploy scroll lock to get to that. There are a number of other features included in 1.9 that um, you should check out when you have time. And as always, you can get more information on the forums at www.etcconnect.com and by emailing us directly. Thanks very much. Happy programming.